Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in a previous video, I showed you guys how to do the lock method and this is the hair following that. I'll leave, um, I'll leave the video in the corner of this video and in the description box. So I'm gonna be using Aunt Jackie's Curl Boss Coconut Cream, I believe that was. And we're gonna jump straight into the three strand twist. My hair is dry, but I did dampen it a little bit with some water just to help the gel glide through my hair better. We're going to start off by separating three different twists like a braid, but we're twisting, not braiding, so be mindful of that. Now, I don't know how to put it into words, but you're just going to take one end of your strand, a strand that's on the end, and take it over and cross it over both of the strands and make like, you're going to basically make one strand cross over the two other strands on the other side. Like, you're taking the left strand over to the right side. See, I suck at explaining it, so just watch the video. Now, some people do start off by braiding the root first, and then they go into the three-strand twist. I found, I found that it complicates me because I end up doing a braid out instead of a three-strand twist out. So, I just started from the root. I was so concentrated on it that I kind of got out of frame, but I moved back up in a little bit. can't make it to the end that is okay I just put a strand together and then ended it off with a two strand twist or you could just leave it out and curl it around your finger I actually did both It looks pretty neat and uniform. I just wanted to make sure that I did slow down for the first demonstration. Now this one is gonna be pretty much sped up. But if you need to watch it again, just go back in the video and then just watch it again. Comment down below if you prefer a three strand twist out, a two strand twist out, or you don't really see the difference in them. I prefer, I feel like I get more definition with the three strand, with the three strand twist out, but the two strand twist out takes me max about 20 minutes to finish in my hair. But a three strand twist out is more time consuming, but the end results in my hair are better than a two strand twist out. So it honestly depends on the time I have in a day.
Now, of course, I'm not going to let y'all sit up here and watch me twist up my whole head because it, it takes a while. Out of those two sections, I ended up having about six twists. I did do them pretty medium to big size. And I'm just going to throw my satin bonnet and call it a night. Following the next morning, my hair is completely dry. Now, that's one thing you do want to make sure is be 100% and make sure your hair is dry. To avoid any screw ups or you would have you went through that hard work for nothing oh they look so pretty the curls are so pretty in the three strand twist out I'm separating them I didn't have much of a problem with them. I didn't create that much frizz because the curl definition is still obviously there and they are popping. <laughs> I just wanted to take out a couple of the front sections so you guys could see and we just had to get a slow moment right there because they look that good. I was just trying to give you guys an idea how it looks after I take all of them down. And I'm just going to get a pick. This is me being extra. I don't know why I did that. You do not have to oil your pick at all. I was just being extra for what we for what reason? I have no idea. I'm just going to try my best to pick it out and fluff it out as much as I can to give it some volume. trying to pull it down tug it down gently and create some uplifting in my head because it looks pretty 2d instead of 3d how i wanted it look how much manipulation i did to my hair and it's still pretty decent. It's not as frizzy as it usually would be. Now, this is the final results. Just giving you guys some little angles on how it looks. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel and watching my content. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and comment down below.